Tour and Parks is a great morning, afternoon event. You get to see the city and you get to see parts of the city you probably have never discovered before. Tour and Parks is a bike ride that um, was established to support the parks of Baltimore. Very simply put. You get to go through five parks. The parks just seem like heaven on earth. You haven't seen them and certainly you haven't ridden a bicycle through them. It's great being with just a collection of people who are just out for a great ride. And it takes place on June the 12th. And we highlight all of the city parks during the ride. So if you do the 36 mile ride, I think it is, the longest of the, the actually the third of the fourth, that ride will take you through all the parks of Baltimore. You don't just see the parks, I mean, you're seeing different parts of the city that you probably don't get to. And you'll see all the trails that go through all the parks. So if you want to come back later on and you want to ride the parks, you'll know what trails exist in, in the parks that you can ride. It's very well organized. Um, it's relaxed. If you want to be intense about it, there's a longer ride. Torden Parks is a supported ride. A supported ride is a ride that has, along the way, rest stops with people supplying food, water, repair for bikes if needed. Also along the way, there will be people to help you if you break down, somebody will be able to call someone, they'll come to you, they'll change your tire. It's a great family ride. You can bring your kids. You can ride as long or as short as you want to ride. If you are tired and you can't do the rest of the ride, somebody will come to you, pick you and your bike up, and take you back to the starting point. That's a supported ride. It's just a fun afternoon to see Baltimore and see the city. I've done it. I looked at, actually looked at the t-shirt I had in my closet the other day. I did the first one in 2004. We give you a free t-shirt, which is beautiful. The t-shirts are, if you've seen the postcard, that's what the t-shirts will look like. They're beautiful. But every year I go, it seems like I see something different and I meet somebody and they have a great party and festival afterwards and there's music. We also have a barbecue after the ride. Um, so we give you food, uh, hot dogs and hamburgers off the grill. I ride my bike every day. I commute over to East Baltimore to Johns Hopkins Hospital. So I've done the longer ride, but you don't have to do the longer ride. Do the shorter ride, just enjoy the sights. It's a perfect day to just get out into the city and you feel a part of a, a group of people that are doing the same thing and everybody's having a good time. Okay guys, well you've heard all about it. So I want to see you on June the 12th with your bikes ready, your helmets, and your water bottles at Tordan Parks, hon. I'll see you out there June 12th. Bring a friend, you'll have a great time, and we'll tour them parks, hon. First thing you gotta do to prepare for Tour Den Parks is make sure your bike's in good working condition. That means make sure the handlebars are straight and functioning. That means make sure your tires are properly inflated and actually working right. Make sure that your brakes are working, you know, stopping. The most important thing to remember is to bring along a spare tube. Flat tires are the most common breakdown. And if you do forget your inner tube, don't worry. We have plenty of bike mechanics who will help you. Also remember to bring a water bottle and a little sunscreen wouldn't hurt either. You don't really need to prepare for this ride, but if you wanted to prepare, we would recommend that you take a couple short rides around your neighborhood or come out and ride around the reservoir. I'll see you at Tour Parks, hun.